With financial institutions, the issue of cybersecurity revolves entirely around or mostly around um, their regulators. And regulators are now looking at financial institutions and becoming far more strict about the information security measures that they use, who they're entrusting their data to, how quickly they um, move to protect that data, et cetera. Financial institutions need to focus on the weak link when it comes to information security. And in most instances, that's their third party vendors. And so their security is only as good as the weakest link. I think the biggest threat to financial institutions with regard to cybersecurity is the third party threat of business partners and vendors, and trusting the data to third parties. In many instances, when you look at breaches of security that have occurred in financial institutions, in fact, the financial institution itself has not been hacked or has not been compromised, but rather one of their third party subcontractors, in fact, has been the subject of the hack. And if their third party providers do not have adequate information security measures and allow a third party to get access to their systems, they can, of course, get the potential access to the data of the financial services company, or even worse, access to the financial services company's own servers. From a regulatory perspective, it all comes down to looking at, is it reasonable for a company to entrust data or operations to a cloud provider? And in many instances, that may be absolutely fine. But in other instances, the risk may be too great and it should not be done. And businesses that nonetheless go ahead and enter into a cloud engagement in circumstances where it would not have been prudent to do so may face regulatory liability.